Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. Uh, just a little blog. I, I got this call just came in. Um, you know, I got my business phone here in my little office I have here. When I leave, I usually, you know, forward to my cell phone. So, uh, it'll ring. I used to have an answering service for years, but they, they, uh, they closed down, went out of business, and I've been just doing it on my own lately, and it's been okay. But I got this odd call from this uh, this lady. Um, you know, phone rang. I picked it up. You know, Lavamonia Plumbing, Heating, and Air can I help you. She says, um, hopefully you can help me, she says. Um, I'm looking for first and last month's rent. She says, uh, you know, I'm looking to get this apartment for my kid. And, uh, you know, I need first and last month's rent. So I says, you know, what do I look like, a flipping bank? So she says, oh, I like your sense of humor. I says, well, I've been told I got a pretty good sense of humor. Um, really? Why are you calling me, you know, for your first and last month's rent? Well, I heard you could help me. Well, you know, I have helped out people in the past that I know, but a stranger off the, you know, calling me on off the, uh, you know, on the phone, it's like, I don't know. So what's your story, lady? And she starts going on and on and on. Come to find out she thought I was Pace. So <laughs> I said to her, I said, listen, if you come up with any money, give me a call back and give me that number. Maybe I can get a couple of bucks out of them. <laughs> so <laughs> she thought that was funny. You know, you get all kinds. Do I look like a flipping bank? Do I have like, uh, you know, like a flipping money tree? I have helped out people in the past. You know, my motto for helping out damsels in distress. You know, you can't, you can't uh, stop a sinking ship. Next time any damsel in distress comes my way, I'm just going to call the Coast Guard and watch them sink. That's my motto. I try helping out too many, you know, and it's an, it's like bailing out a bloody uh, Titanic with a Dixie cup. You just ain't never going to catch up. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I'm not making fun of the lady. It was just, uh, you know, a misunderstanding that she called. But, you know, I have helped out people in the past. Um, you know, if I felt led to help someone out and I have the means to help them, I, you know, sometimes I have helped people out and, uh, you know, never look for nothing in return. But, um, you know, can't be doing that all the time because people will take advantage of you. Well, it was just kind of funny the way the call came in and um, <laughs> the whole way the whole thing, you know, unfolded. It was kind of hilarious. But that's that's uh, that's the deal there. You know, and I have got quite a few emails, you know, guys asking me different questions. And uh, I don't have a problem, you know, send, you sending me a personal email and asking me a couple of questions. I have no issues with that at all. I'll help you out in any way I can, uh, you know, as long as it's, you know, legitimate. Uh, you know, if you're a mechanic and you're looking for some kind of advice or if I can help you in any way, I will, you know. Um I just, you know, for my for my subs and stuff, I got no issue with that. You know, I don't expect somebody that's, you know, a homeowner to try, you know, installing a whole system on their own and asking me, uh, you know, all kinds of basic questions and stuff like that. I don't think that's the proper thing to do. Uh, that's not what my channel is about. You know, it's more or less, you know, for the working guys, we bounce things off each other. Uh, you know, the homeowners, you know, sometimes you have to, as a homeowner, you have to pick your battles, really. And um, you don't have all the equipment to do the job properly, for one. And for you to buy all the equipment that you need to do one job, it's cheaper for you to hire somebody that actually, you know, knows what's going on. Sometimes it's not always that easy trying to explain to people what, you know, what to do as far as doing things. Um, it might look easy on a video. But the guy doing the video might have, you know, 30 years experience doing it too. And there's a lot of variables on different things. Not everything's cut and dry. You know, you got all, you got basic stuff to follow. You you know the basic stuff, but when you run into a problem, you got to know where to grab from Peter to pay Paul type of thing. Uh, it's not always, oh, just charge your air conditioner to 70 PSI on the low side and it's charged. That, that's, no, you can't do that. You can't do that at all. Uh, there's a lot of things you have to look at if there's other problems going on uh, There might be other issues and Sometimes you have to adjust stuff here adjust stuff there to, to make the system work. It might not be working efficient uh, System might not be installed right uh, Could be a lot of things, you know, not enough return uh, Could be, you know, dirty evaporator uh, a bunch of stuff 
So wrong size line sets. There's a lot of things that come in, in into uh, play that you have to really think about. But like I said, if I can help in any way, I, you know, I have no problem with that. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not here to, to, to show homeowners how to how to go and install a whole air conditioning system. That's not really, you know, what my channel's about. My channel's more or less just to uh, show you, uh, you know, my perspective on how things are done. And I think you, you need to call the professionals and the licensed men to do the job. Um, same thing with oil burners and gas work and stuff, you know. You really need to call someone in that, that has has all the parts on the truck and really knows, you know, what they're doing. I'm not trying to pee in anybody's parade and stuff, but, you know, it's good to get the basics. But sometimes you got to pick your battles. That's all I got to say. Just pick your battles, you know. Uh, you're not going to go into World War II, uh, you know, with, with a Speedo and a cowboy hat. You know, you need a full, you know, a full suit, a full armor, a suit, a uh, gun, boots. The, the total package, you know, and that's all the tools that you need, you know. Can't go into battle with a Speedo and a cowboy hat and expect to, uh, you know, come out victorious. It ain't going to happen. You might get a couple of dollars thrown at you from the ladies, but that's about it. <laughs> Some of you guys, you probably wouldn't even get that. You get laughed at. <laughs> like me, I get laughed at. <laughs> Well, I'd probably laugh back and grab the dollar and run. <laughs> grab your purse and run. Hopefully, it's got some cash in there. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, you guys don't get offended with my jokes, you know. Uh, at least I laugh out of some of them. I, I try to be funny at times. Sometimes, maybe I'm a little dry, they say. Sometimes, I'm dry. But, you know, it's good to laugh and joke around. And, uh, you know, it's good for you. Uh it's good for you. Joking around is good for you. So, hopefully you guys get a couple of laughs from the stuff I say. That's the intent anyway. You know, I wish there was more guys that would joke around and, and uh, you know, make some funny content and stuff. And uh, yeah, I got quite a few different things I watch on YouTube, man. There's quite a few channels I enjoy watching. Um, You know, entertainment type of stuff and uh, joking around and... Some of it's serious. There's a lot of educational stuff that I like to watch. A lot of, you know, my HVAC buddies, they're very uh, educational oriented. And uh, I like watching their stuff. And it's all good. You know, there's, there's good content all over the place. There's guys that do, you know, I was a couple of cooking videos I like to watch. Uh, Larry Wolf is one of them. He's got a real good channel. I like uh, the Wolf Pit, it's called. He's a good guy. I like Larry. Uh, you know, there's quite a few other ones uh, that are good. And, you know, there's all kinds. I watch some guys that do automotive work. And, uh, you know, I watch Angry Grandpa, Pug One, all them them guys. Some of them guys, uh, you know, they got their own way about them. But it's, it's kind of like, uh, you know, you enjoy watching this stuff, you know. Might be, they might repeat this stuff all the time. But it's, it's cool, you know, it, it's worth watching. And I enjoy the different stuff. Um, you know, there's quite a few guys, that, different different people that I watch on YouTube. And uh, uh, it's all cool, you know. It's kind of Sometimes uh, YouTube can get addictive. But that's the way it is. You're watching it, you kind of get, like, drawn into it. It's like if it was a soap opera, you call it, As the Stomach Turns. <laughs> Anyway, guys and gals, hopefully I didn't offend any of ladies, you know, it's just guy guy talk, you know, joking around and uh, trying to get a couple of laughs. It's all good, you know. We all need to laugh more. It's good to laugh and joke around and have fun, you know. Hopefully I didn't, you know, squat in anybody's parade. Uh, that wasn't my intent, you know. But anyway, guys, I want to thank all my loyal subs, and I appreciate all the comments that you guys always leave on my stuff, and, uh, you know, and the ladies, you need to start commenting, too, you know, write some stuff down, and, uh, you know, don't be scared to ask questions, or even leave a feedback and tell me, you know, that I'm good, or I'm bad, or whatever, you know, whatever it is, I don't care, just speak the truth. 
if I'm that bad, I need to know so I can change, try to change a little bit. You know, I never said I was perfect. I'm far from that. But I just try to, you know, uh, bring a little bit of content here and there and joke around, maybe get a couple laughs out of you. That's, you know, what I, that's what I'm hoping anyway. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Hey, man, I appreciate you watching and uh, uh, hopefully I'll be bringing some, some more stuff very soon.